Hey everybody, it's Melissa from Avondale Art Studio. Thanks for joining me. Um, I am going to make a few colors today and I thought maybe I would come on and share that with you and talk you through it. Um, the other videos that I've made, I don't talk through them. I just give you the directions on the screen. And these are sometimes easier for people to follow when they hear someone talking. Plus, I got a brand new toy that I wanted to share with you that has made my life a lot easier. And it is this little baby right here. I believe it is called Bean Envy. If you can read that, Bean Envy. It's basically a, a coffee stirrer, <laughs> uh, a battery operated coffee stirrer, see? But I'm using it to mix my paints instead of using my hand as much. Now, this comes in really handy when I'm mixing, mixing like, you know, eight, 10 colors at a time, like I have up here on my shelf and then down here below, which you can't see. Today, I'm only mixing two colors, but I wanted to show you this. Um, I had mentioned to my husband that I needed something to help me stir because my hand was kind of cramping up. I have MS. Um, so he found this for me on Amazon. I, I want to say it was, I mean, I'm pr almost positive it was less than $20. It may have been around $10. i am not really sure, but it's awesome. So I want to show you how that works. The only thing I would suggest is if you're going to use something like this, you make your paints to use the next day because this does cause quite a few bubbles inside your paint. Um, and you'll want those to, you know, settle down and come out all together if you can get them out before you start painting. So, okay. I'm making a couple colors today because I'm going to do a couple more sunflowers and I'm running low on some of the colors and I wanna add an additional color. I'm gonna add this color right here, which is Amsterdam Gold Yellow. I have not used this one in my sunflowers yet. I do have a video on YouTube right now. Um, it's blowing up for some reason, I, I don't know why. Maybe because of the whole Ukraine situation and that their national, their national flower is a sunflower. But um, if you wanna see what I'm talking about when I talk about the sunflowers that I'm gonna make, the acrylic pour sunflowers, that's where you can find it. I think it's called a sunflower swipe or something like that you'll find it if you are interested but anyway here we go so I have my scale I mix my paints with water and Floetrol um, I know some people just do water and paint some people do water Floetrol GAC 800 all that kind of stuff you know whatever works for you is what I suggest but I only use uh, water and Floetrol Although I have been watching a lot of Molly lately from Molly's Artistry and I may try some of her stuff which is just water and uh, paint because that looks really nice too. So here we go, I got my kitchen scale. I work in grams, so I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna make sure it comes up to grams, which it already is, so I am good. I'm gonna take my little cup put it on my scale and then I'm going to zero my scale out because I do not want to count the ounces of the cup, sorry, the grams of the cup in the total paint that I'm mixing. So I zeroed it out. So now my scale says zero. It's not even measuring that cup at all. So I'm going to start with my Floetrol. I keep it in a decanter container just like this. It says Floetrol on it with a little cap and I am going to do 80 grams. I mix my paints, 80 grams Floetrol, 30 grams of paint, unless the paint is um, like a darker Amsterdam color, and then I'll mix only 25 grams, and then 30 grams of water. So 80, 30, 30. Unless it's a darker color, 80, 25, 30. Okay, so here we go, 80 grams. Waiting for it to catch up to me there. All right, exactly 80, that's good. Sometimes I go over like 83, 84. It's not an exact science, so don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be exactly that. It's more about the feel of the paint than it is the actual mixture that you have and the, the, the amounts that you have of each one. And when you've been doing it for a while, you'll, you'll start to understand that. Okay, so. Now I'm going to add my paint, which again is this Amsterdam gold yellow, which looks like this in the bottle. I'm using it because, oh, hi there. 
Um, I have three other colors of yellow right over here that I've used in my last set of sunflowers. And I want to add this one because it's got a little bit more of an orange flavor to it. <laughs> and I want to like paint as a flavor. Duh. Anyway, it's got a little bit more of an orange tint to it. And I want to use that. So now I am going to, I, I don't like to have to think well, what's 80 plus 30 <laughs> and get 110 if I don't, I mean, I was a teacher for 15 years and I taught language arts in the middle school. And if I don't have to think so much, I don't want to think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero my thing out again and make sure that my, my thing is on zero. So now I don't have to think about it. I know I've got 80 grams of Floetrol in there. Now I'm going to put 30 grams of Amsterdam. This is a lighter color Amsterdam, so I'm going to do 30, not 25. 30 of that. So here we go. Oh, I guess I better hope I actually even have that. Yeah, I think I'll make it. I'll make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna, come on, baby. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You got this. You got this. Come on. 28, 29, 29. There we go, 29. Thir nope, 30. Yoo-hoo. Got it. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't talk like that normally. It just something took over me. <laughs> and then I need water, which I usually just keep right here on my setup that my husband put together for me but again I'm going to zero out my scale because I don't want to think what's 80 plus 30 that's 110 and then what's 30 on top of that that's 140 I don't want to do that I just want to in my head go 80 30 30 that's it so now I know I'm going to put 30 grams of water in this baby There we go. 32. I'm not worried about that. Those extra two grams are okay. However, if that went up to like 35, 36, I would probably take it and take a little paper towel and just pour some water out onto it and then put it back on the scale real quick until I got closer to 30, 31, 32. Just that's my comfort zone. Okay. And then I'll show you what it looks like. That's without being mixed right now. So that's 80 grams of paint. Sorry, 80 grams of Floetrol, 30 grams of paint, and 30 grams of water. And now I'm going to take my handy dandy little tool and I'm going to mix it. Here we go. It's just got a little button on the top that you push with your thumb. I'm not a coffee drinker <laughs> or a tea drinker or a hot chocolate drinker or anything like that. So I did not own one of these in my house. I'm sure a lot of you probably do. Um, I don't. So this was a novelty for me. <laughs> Here we go. Just gonna mix it up and down. I'm sure you can see what I'm doing there a little bit. Maybe I'll see if I can come a little closer to the camera for you. Ooh, without splattering all over my And I try to come up as close to the top as I can get without splattering it everywhere and then just go back and down in there a couple times just up and down until I feel like it looks pretty good now don't get me wrong this is not gonna mix my paint completely but look at how little I'm using my wrist and twisting and turning for somebody who has multiple sclerosis MS this is really good for me so i'm just letting it kind of mix in there a little bit and then i just pull it out i keep a cup of water at my workstation it's dirty because i've used it for many other things you can see it and then i just stick this down inside of there run it for a second or two bring it out and then it is fairly clean as you can see there's a little bit of stuff on it still so I just wipe it off wipe the actual color off I just used easy peasy lemon squeezy ready for the next cup of paint and my paint right here you can see now is in pretty good shape 
by doing that. You can see all those bubbles that are in there. That's what I'm talking about. You're going to want to use, if you use this, use it and let your paint sit overnight before you use your paint the next day so you get rid of those bubbles. But now I'm just going to take my stir stick and I'm going to stir it up just to make sure I don't have anything on the edges or the sides. Give it, you know, maybe a 10, 15 second stir, which is a heck of a lot less than I would have done without my little handy dandy bean envy right here so there we go it is good now to me that is good I will show you the consistency this is a good color to do it on I think you can see that it falls off of the spoon and makes a little mound it, it's not as thin as some of the other artists who's just their paint just falls right back into the cup and doesn't leave any trace at all I like mine to leave a little bit of a trace so that's how I make mine okay and then I will just pour it into my handy dandy little lowly Vuffy container over here these things are great no I am not sponsored by anybody I just really 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 love these bottles as you can tell I have probably a hundred of them or more <laughs> and I will end up ordering more because they're just awesome but I won't bore you with putting this in the bottle. It's just a, a, you know, you unscrew it and that's it. Just put it in there, close it back up, and then loosen your top when you're ready to go. It's a squeeze bottle, standard squeeze bottle stuff, okay? So let me make one more color for you and then we'll be done. All right, I'm gonna turn my scale back on because it turned off. I'm gonna put my cup on there it's measuring at seven grams. I don't want that. I don't want to measure my cup. So I'm going to push the button to zero it out. It is zeroed out now. I'm going to get my 80 grams of Floetrol. Get in there. Yep, 79. Okay, 80. Um, next paint the color that I'm going to use for this one is Pevio's Studio Acrylics this one is iridescent copper it's iridescent sometimes when I use iridescent colors I don't use as much paint or if I use the same amount of paint I use a little bit more water and so I can tell that what I did when I mixed this the last time was I used 80 grams of Floetrol 30 grams of paint and 40 grams of water. So since that's what's already in this bottle and I'm just trying to top it off, that's what I'm gonna do is 80, 30, 40 of my Pevio iridescent copper. Okay. So I'm gonna zero my scale out because I don't want it to tell me that I have anything on there. I'm gonna put in 30 grams of paint. Woo. She be running out on me. I might have to give me some more. Yikes. Crikey. Crikey. Come on. I talk to myself a lot, but it's okay because myself talks back. <laughs> and we have some pretty good conversations. Okay. So I got my 30 grams of paints and now I'm going to do 40 grams of water because that's what I had written on there and that is an iridescent um, kind of almost like a metallic paint so I'm going to use a little bit extra water so I'm going to zero it out I'm going to put in 40 grams of water Thirty four, thirty five, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty. 40 perfect Okay, so here we are again, what it looks like before I stir it. I'm going to take my handy dandy Bean Envy battery operated tool. I think it just takes two AA batteries or AAA batteries. And then I'm going to mix it right up. Ooh, that's fast. It would have taken me like 30 stirs already to get to this point. I love this little tool. What's even better is when I say stuff and my husband's list, my husband listens to me and then 
gets me stuff all on his own without me having to even actually ask for it. Isn't that nice? I got a good one, you guys. I got a really good one. I love that man. Okay, so here we are with just a little bit of mixing. I'm going to show you again that I try to go in up to the top a little, back down, up to the top, back down. I'm trying not to come above the top so I don't get as many bubbles, but as I'm trying to show you, it's also kind of difficult to do. So I'm going to do that a couple more times down here. Whoopsies! Whoopsies! Okay, a couple more times. Whoo! Mixing it all up. Well, I hope this video isn't too long. I was trying to make it like under 10 minutes, but who knows? I'm a talker. That's what happens when you're in teaching. You over explain everything because you try to explain things in several different ways. So once again, you can see what my tool looks like when it comes out of the paint there. All I'm going to do is stick it in my water, run it around a couple seconds, take it out, shake it off, dry it off. That's all I'm doing. Drying off the stem, drying off that. Voila! Mwah! <laughs> it's a great tool. I love it. Okay, and then I will take my stir stick. I will get a fresh one here since I didn't take the other one out. I'll take my stir stick and I will just stir this up just a smidge more to make sure that everything is nice and good down in there. I get the feel out of it that I want. It looks good to me. I'll show you the consistency. You can kind of see this one too. See, it comes off of the stick nice and easy without the stick being up too high. That's the thing. You don't want to do this because that's not a true measure. You don't want to take it up here. That's just gravity taking your paint down. You don't want that. You want it to be fairly right above it. And then whatever your desired consistency is. For me, I like it when it leaves a little bit of a trace as it goes back into the liquid that's there. Okay? All right, guys, that's it. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if there's anything else you want to sh have me show you. I Again, used to be a teacher. I love making tutorials for everyone. I hope they're helpful and they're not nonsensical. <laughs> um, but anyway, thanks again for joining me. And if you are not following us on YouTube, please do that. Avondale Art Studio. Um, like Avon, the makeup, Avondale Art Studio. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on Facebook. We're the same name all over the place, even on Instagram, okay? Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.